Hey y'all, welcome to Freedom Makers. I'm Amanda and today I'm super excited to use my new wide mouth jar sealer with my food saver. I'm going to be putting up dry beans in half gallon jars today. I also have some desiccants. This video is sponsored by my patrons. They provided the desiccants and the sealer and the tube that I needed to connect it to my food saver and many more things. If you'd like to see that video or learn more, you can check out the cards above. I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to get this done. It's going to be wonderful. More food storage. Woo -woo. It's awesome. If you don't have a food saver, I recommend it. I love it. I use my food saver a lot and it's just given me a lot of peace of mind because I can put up a lot more food. First, I want to show you guys my setup. I have been using my food saver this morning. I just finished um, putting coffee in here. You guys know we stopped drinking coffee, but we still had coffee. So I divided it up into three bags got that put away. I love my food saver. I use it often. Now I get to use it with my new wide mouth attachment here. I'm about to use these half gallon jars. I'm going to fill these up with pintos. See how far that gets us. I did wash these last night. I let them air dry overnight. You want to make sure that they are completely dry before you pack them with food and seal them. So I'm going to start filling up my jars. This is a 12 pound bag of pintos. I'm not sure how many jars that will be. But I also have black beans if I have extra jars that I'm going to put up as well. So of these two bags that I still have left, I will probably just leave these on the shelf and use them first. I'm going to throw one of these into each jar at the top here. This is just to make sure that if any moisture does get in there or is in there that it doesn't ruin my food. This will absorb any moisture. When you put your desiccant in you do want to make sure that there is an inch of headspace here at the top. Then you want to wipe your rim. I'm just using a clean dishcloth. I'm not using vinegar. You want everything to stay dry. You just want to make sure that there is nothing nothing that has gotten on these. No dust has fallen on them. Nothing you know while you're working. And then we are going to put the lids on, not the rings, just the lid. I'm going to go ahead and put all of these on at the same time. These have been cleaned as well. Then you want to make sure that your hose is pushed all the way into your attachment here and into the port, the accessory port on the machine. Then you want to lock the side of your machine just like you would if you had a bag in here. You're going to push this on the top and you're going to turn it on. Okay, and that's all there is to it. It is tightly sealed. All of the air is out of there. This is sealed, just like as if I had canned. And the desiccant on the top is going to keep make sure that no moisture gets in here, that it stays dry. And so now I have my beans vacuum sealed in a large jar for future use. This fourth one, I'm really having a hard time pulling it off. So I want to show you guys a little trick. If you take the attachment here and twist it to pull it off, You hear that? It released all the pressure there. So the suction was released and it just comes right off. If you have any problems pulling it off yourself, it's just an easy way to, to do that. And then you just put it back in and you twist again. Let me put this down. You twist again to make sure that this is in all the way. And then I'll do my last jar. And there we have it. Nothing to it, guys. Super easy. It took me just a few minutes to do all these jars. We will have these for a long, long time. They are completely sealed. They are vacuum sealed, so there's no oxygen in here anymore. All that was sucked out. And the desiccant on the top will make sure that this stays dry for as long as I need it to. So it's just a wonderful way to put up food. I'm super excited to have these new products in our home to be using and putting up food. And this attachment means that I'm not limited to the bags anymore. I can now start 
sealing in my mason jars and I am so excited about that using more glass less plastic I'm all about it so thank you guys so much for stopping by I hope this was helpful and encouraging to you if you are not putting up food you ought to be when things go wrong you are the only one that you can depend on and you need to make sure that you can feed your family no matter what so that's what it's all about here it's all about the food and I am super tickled to have this new attachment it is just going to be a lifesaver I am so grateful thank you guys so much for stopping by I'll catch you in the next video